welcome moon magic super souls welcome back to the channel if you are already part of this amazing community here and you know thank you so so much and if you're new welcome to my readings and my channel so today we are asking what major glow up is this full moon bringing you now it's a very significant full moon full moons always are but the sun is actually sitting with saturn father time father karma now i'm actually seeing these three cards coming through for our readings so we're going to use these first and we have a beautiful pendulum and a crystal ball and an amethyst heart as well to kind of help to guide you in so pile one you have the card of destiny okay so this is for pile one and this is sitting with this pendulum which is a carnelian pendulum let me just place that a bit higher up so you can see beautiful pieces of carnelian set in this beautiful pendulum so that is pile one pile two you have the four of air this is pile two okay and you have the beautiful beautiful crystal ball this is a quartz crystal ball. I'm going to hold it up and just see if I can move it around a little bit so you can see something of what's in it. There's a lot of facets within it. Yeah. Okay. So that is for pile two. And then pile three, we have the counselor. So this is pile three, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse my voice. And this is actually the 12 of water as well. If you want that little bit of extra information, the counselor, 12 of water. Okay, and I should also say that is card number 16, if numbers are important to you guys as well. So pile one was number 16. And you have here on pile three, you have the amethyst heart. Okay, very beautiful crystal heart, which is lining up beautifully with my row of amethyst crystal points today that I felt very, very drawn to for, for this reading actually. So what major glow up is this full moon bringing you? Beautiful souls, I'll leave the video running a little bit longer for anyone that needs a bit more time. If you need even more time, you can always press the pause button and the timestamps will be in the description below and also all of the cards that I'm using and um, I'll put them in a comment as well. Beautiful souls, see you in the readings in just a moment. Hi all one, welcome to your reading. You have this amazing card of destiny, your first card. Do you know with Carnelian as well? Carnelian, I just feel like the energy of Carnelian. It does what it says on the tin, you know, it, it gets you to the finish line, it gives you perseverance, it gives you endurance, it means you get to where you need to go. I'm really seeing this major glow up as kind of almost like either keeping you on track or putting you on track big time with something. Really the energy of it perhaps illuminating for you, um, opening a gateway for you. We've got this um, like an entry point to a barrow here, either opening a portal or opening a gateway or showing you exactly what you need to see to be able to find your calling or persevere with your calling, your purpose. So if you don't know what you're calling or your purpose is, you may find it is revealed. Let's see what else we are shown here. Let's draw more cards, some Oracle cards, first of all, please. Well, there's your first card flying out of the pack. I love it when this happens. Okay, so you have shield your energy, look beneath the surface. I'm hearing there's a need to remain focused here. 
okay? It's like information is going to come from within rather than without. Like a, a long barrow, I visited one, there, there are many in the area that I live in, I mean really so many, and I went into this barrow and it was like a, a journeying chamber, it was like a shamanic journeying chamber and I, I knew that there were certain points in it when, uh, to be honest, I was just like spiraling off into a, on, you know, another dimension, like a portal. There are really powerful energetic portals in, in some of these barrows. And I feel that you're needing to look within. You're going to find the information that you need from within, not without. So whatever you're doing and working on with your purpose and calling, very clear message coming through here, actually, for some of you, it's a general reading. So this will apply to some but not all. You'll need to take messages in any general reading in this way. But the message is for some of you that you already have the information and the guidance within you. Uh, it, this doesn't require research, sort of going out and looking for additional learning or research. The information will come to you if you get still. Um, you'll just be shown. You know what you need to do. You don't need to look elsewhere. That's coming through really loud and clear for you, actually, from that card. Um, yeah, shield your energy, look beneath the surface. Um, mm, other information coming through uh, for some of you, look beneath the surface. If there are, if there is something going on around you that you feel is either hindering your process or, or getting your progress, your process getting in the way, look beneath the surface. There's something more to be seen. It may be that somebody is presenting you with something and it's not entirely real, like, you know, can we say like coming from another planet, but it's not entirely real. The information isn't kind of either factually correct. So you need to be aware and observant of that, particularly observant here. I'm seeing with these Hawkeyes. Okay, very powerful readings. Feels like a lot of energy coming through. Aquarius collaborate. Now this is interesting. So if you are collaborating with somebody or you're going to be, look beneath the surface. You may have more than one choice available to you. And this is about choosing wisely. I think you're going to get some help, which is really good. But also the choose wisely in terms of the help that you accept. Fifth house passion. Awesome. So I, I do feel for most of you, this sort of destiny, this element of kind of almost purpose calling, whatever it is, I, I do think it is around you already in that it's, whether it is just in its stage of being an idea, a vision, a dream, or whether it's something you're already working on, you are being asked to persevere. Yeah, the glow up, the full moon is going to bring you what you need to be able to move this forwards, to continue, to make it happen. Now, it could be a someone with collaborate, retrograde review, Okay, so I'm seeing an essence of making sure you evaluate at every stage of the way, look beneath the surface, step back, review, listen to what comes from within. Okay, we have, make a decision. Okay, are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another? Okay, accept divine guidance. Okay, so what I'm seeing in this card is, I think some of you are, this is, a, this is about following your calling, portals opening for you, but also about you being focused. You can get help, you will receive the help, what you need will come to you when you need it. But I do think some of the review for some of you is to do with actually making sure that you do remain on track. I think your energy could be dissipated by people who are making demands or wanting something from you. Don't let that happen. What else do we have here? Increase your knowledge. Now, this is interesting because this is education brings opportunities, pick up a book. Now, what came through very clearly for some of you was that the answers lie within. You already know what you're doing or what you're needing. So it could be that you're more looking for, for some of you, you're more looking for mentorship or also that, you know, when you like open a book and exactly how interesting that candle has just gone out, I will relight another one for you. But you know, when you open a book and the, 
whatever is on that page is exactly what you needed to hear right now. It's giving you a message. Well, I feel that there's an element of this. You're going to be shown what you need to see in very, very clear ways. Will we use any more from this pack? I think we will. Yeah, I'm hearing more. So angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. Okay, and I'm also going to draw a number card for you too. Okay, there is yours. Three, three, three. Seeing the angel number three, three, three is a time that is 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 a sign that it's time to focus inwards. Okay, thank you for that affirmation. Work on your skills. This is what this is about. Discover your talents and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. Support. Growth, creativity, joy, community, vision, talents. Okay. This full moon is really bringing you it does feel like an opening to either, to either activate something or to persevere with something. Let me relight your candle or light another one rather. I can't relight it. It's finished. Okay, so we have a new candle lit for you. I sort of feel like you're going to get exactly that, a new lease of life on something or, or renewed energy. support coming in where you need it. Let's draw more cards for you. Let's draw from a tarot pack and see what we are shown. What major glow up? The major glow up is really clear to me actually already. There is something that you are either working on or you have an idea. You're going to need to prioritize it versus the, the needs of someone else. So there's definitely an energy for some of you, of somebody around you who would sort of a bit of an energy drain, if I'm honest with you. And you do need to review this and be aware of it because it is, there's, this is time to get really focused. You need to see whose cup is being filled up here. This is a, absolutely a time for you to be completely and utterly focused, yeah, with clear determination, Ace of Swords, on your priorities and your direction. There's something, again, fated destiny. There's timing involved here. Okay, you have Page of Cups, Possibility, and Page of Wands, New Ideas. Yeah, this is a time when literally ideas, answers, realizations, insights will just come to you. I was about to try and click my fingers and it didn't work. There we go. Will just come to you just like magic, like this, like that. The key is just being really still enough to actually receive those messages and also to be aware of how they arrive like a song on the radio or you turn on your tablet and there's a message and it tells you just what you need or gives you just what you need in that moment. It's like little pieces of jigsaw, almost like arriving through the post. Get very focused, be very conscious and very aware of your ability to receive yeah, in a way, it's a bit like mirroring what it means I always feel to be a, a reader. Now, I'm working on a huge course that teaches people to read cards. And, you know, the key stages or some of the key stages of being a reader, in a way, we have to completely get out of our own way to become a receiver. But then we have to be completely open and alert to absolutely everything. So in one way, we're like almost like putting our mind to one side. On the other hand, we're asking our mind to be incredibly active, but it's like a different part of our mind. And I feel that's what's being asked of you here so that you can get the absolute max from the energy of this full moon that is bringing you opening up a space where you can make the choices, take the steps that you need to bring something through, because I feel it could happen quite quickly. We have healing blessing your life. 
if any of you have been feeling under the weather, uh, not as if, you know, in a way you can't work fully because your energy is, is feeling a bit zapped, not perhaps by another person, but by um, either physical health or just your energy is low. I think this is going to be really revitalized for you. Let's uh, draw some more cards for you. Let's bring out another tarot pack. May we please have information. Look at this. Ten of pentacles. Ten of, wow, my goodness me. You've got, and I didn't even see there was another card here. So we have the ten of pentacles. We have the queen of wands. We have the ten of cups. We have the six of cups and we have the tower. Okay, this is a seriously major glow up for you. It, I want to say in every area of your life because we've got pentacles, we've got cups, we've got relationships um, coming in here. We've got creativity. We've got, um, you know, resources, health, money, finances. You're on a, you are going to be on a roll to success and I think it can you can manifest quickly you can transform quickly you can make stuff happen quickly I think a series of events will be triggered by the energy of this full moon and these series of events are seriously upgrading your world this is very life-changing very very life-changing And I just go back to what I was just saying, you know, with the page of cups. Interesting that we have the page of cups and the page of wands here. This is quite young energy. It's so I feel that you are whatever you're working at. It, it's not near completion, but I feel it could rock it. And as if the right resources, the right people come to you, but you have to be open and available to read the signs and you have to make some quite clear cut decisions along the way. But the signs will be shown to you. There's no question of it. Let's complete your reading by bringing in some runes. Okay, so first of all, we have the rune of breakthrough. Fantastic. Then we have the rune of joy, we have the rune of movement, and we have the rune of strength. Wow. Um, these are amazing runes to draw because the rune of breakthrough is, is seriously, it, it's, it's like the light bulb moment. So it's that guidance, receiving that guidance. The rune of joy is a fruit bearing rune. It's about gifts. It's not, sometimes it is, um, I mean, it literally means your energy shifts, your energy um, opens up, pathways lift, you come out of a period of fogginess into a period of light, happiness, joy. It is a rune of gifts as well. Um, things coming to you. I'm seeing everything gather momentum. And then the perseverance, the energy to finish something, to bring it to completion. You'll be given the energy that you need, the renewed energy and renewed resources to bring this to fruition. So whether this is literally at that spark of the idea stage, just an idea in your mind, or whether this is something, I do think for some of you, you're, you're in the early stages of pulling it together, or you, you know, there's still work to be done basically with the two pages, but you can do this. And this is what the energy of the full moon is bringing you. Any signs, signals that happen during this, this sort of moon month from this full moon to the next full moon, I, I just feel it's going to be an absolutely awesome month for you with really, really big progress where you're seeing results, you're seeing it come together, you're seeing it happen. And I do think even in different areas of your life, if you're working on a major project, you know, I, I don't see love being out of the balance. You know, you've got the the feather here and you've got the heart. So I, I do think you can literally achieve a balance in your life. There's so much joy here, so much joy. And this is also enjoying it for the sake of joy, in doing it, enjoying it, loving it. So something is seriously opening up for you that is going to be very life-changing and open up all these sort of like doorways, windows of opportunity, just as it, we've got this doorway here. Um, I mean, these two, this couple sit here in a kind of like a window. There's another window here in both of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. 
So the big glow up for you. Information comes from within. Let me summarize for you, beautiful souls. Information comes from within rather than without. It will literally be opening a book. You'll see a sign. You'll know what to do, when to do it. Keep your focus. You can have a balanced life. You can do, you know, all your lovely homey things as well as your worky things. But within that balanced life, don't let anything come in that could be an energy drain. Okay, balance things. Be very thoughtful if you've got contracts to sign in any way, shape or form or deadlines to meet, I'm hearing. If you're working on something and there's a deadline to meet, the key is to be really focused. Doesn't mean you can't have a life as well, but make sure you boundary it and you really do persevere because the breakthrough is coming. Okay. Pile one, this is your reading. It's a phenomenal um, energy that is with you. I, I, I feel like I'm sitting in the energy of a rocket that's going to take off. I really do. It's amazing, the energy of your reading. It's so powerful. So beautiful souls, um, keep that focus while simultaneously, almost like get out of your own way, much as you have to be to be a reader, get out of your own way, get still, receive all the information and then apply it because there is a rocket of energy behind you to make stuff happen. Yeah, it's like the universe is absolutely working with you. D divine timing, of course, because of the card of destiny. Divine timing is in place. This is happening now and with purpose. I mean, wow. Pile one, sending you the biggest love, the biggest hug in the world. Do keep us pasted. It, I love reading your comments. I can't reply to you all, so you know, there's too many, but thank you so, so much. I do read them. I do check in on them. And it is such a blessing, you know, to hear of your feedback, and especially some of you guys are coming in and saying, oh, do you remember there was a reading six months ago and now it's here. I've, I've done it. I've achieved it. It's, it's wonderful to be updated. Thank you. And it's so inspirational when you guys bring these things to the community because, you know, it, it helps other people to kind of really recognize that they can manifest their dreams so just thank you all for being here tons and tons of love to you i'll put links to anything and everything that may be important to you in the um, description and in the comments that i post as well beautiful souls uh, this is just magic tons of love see you soon for another reading if you are feeling that my readings are resonating tons and tons of love beautiful souls Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading, beautiful souls. You have the Four of Air. This is the equivalent of the Four of Swords in a traditional pack. I'm seeing the need to bring things into balance. I'm also seeing um, divine timing here. And something is going to line up for you. This is a synchronicity, sacred geometry here. It is almost as though I do actually feel that something is destined um, something you've been looking for in the future, hoping for, um, is destined to come into being or come into place in some way, shape or form. Or something maybe you will even receive. The, the word prophecy is coming through here, like a prophecy coming true. The timing is right. So the major glow up that this new moon is bringing you, I feel connects to yeah, something of a prophecy, something that's been said or decreed or... Okay, well, I'm seeing one and two cards and also this one too. Let's get those out and look at those first. What's happening here? We have exploration. We have source, sun, energy and communication. Mm, very powerful cards. Right. Again, I'm seeing sacred geometry. We have a balloon, something that was... You see these little hot air balloons here. Something that has been hanging or up in the air. You've been waiting for something that you've been waiting for. And we have like a telescope here as well. And look at these magnifying glasses here as well. Something is going to be magnified. You're going to be seeing something. Something that was up in the air is going to start to move forwards. It's going to be activated. A communication, I think, is going to come to you. And the major glow up is connected to that communication. Something is going to, 
again, something that's been prophesied or declared or decreed or planned for in some way, shape or form is going to be activated and moved forwards because of this, the energy of this full moon. We better draw more cards. What else are we shown here for my pile two? What's the big glow up? What is it connected to? Can we have information? Cosmic ancestors. Okay, wow. Right, I am seeing you seriously in tune with cosmic guidance. Voice your concerns, it says. Mm. Okay, so communication coming through. Maybe there is something you have been concerned about. Either I would say a lack of communication, perhaps from someone. Uh, yeah, somebody hasn't been communicating or forthcoming. You've been waiting. This is why something's been up in the air. You've been waiting to receive a communication about something and it hasn't moved forwards as you'd expected. Yeah, no, you don't necessarily need to voice your concerns to this person, although, or this, whoever hasn't moved something forwards. I don't think we'll draw more cards around this, but I do feel there is a need to get still and you know get yourself really centered and grounded before working out actually what you're going to do here information i think will come to you yes okay embrace this magical moment you are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles allow your wishes to be fulfilled okay right perfect timing planets aligning angels of healing are with you this came out in pile one so if any of you were drawn to pile one it may be relevant to you a time of healing is about to bless your life accept archangel Raphael's emerald green light while i enhance your strength your vibration is rising you're too right it is to absolutely your energy is aligning. I, I feel like you're going to be a channel of energy, which is very interesting because if your energy is right and you are aligned, then you can manifest what you want and generally very fast. It's kind of like a concept, I think, that we all know. But it's harder to do it, isn't it? It's easy, easy to say it and harder to do it because stuff gets in the way. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. What numbers are you shown as well today? May we request numbers? That's your card. Well, you have two coming through. 1001 Spiritual Awakening. Well, there we are. A new phase in a religious or spiritual quest. You're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like the dark night of the soul, but you're on the path to enlightenment so that this will pass. New beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, moving in the right direction. We then have, look at all these ones and zeros, one zero, one zero. It's up to you. Moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement. It's time to put those long cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individual's circumstances and resources. Eventually you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. This is interesting. Voice your concerns here. I feel that you have... Something has been on hold for you. I don't think it's necessarily been by desire up in the air. Something's been up in the air and it's left you sort of like hanging a little bit. Now, what's happening with this full moon is that energy is shifting. You're going to be shown what you need to see. A communication will come through that can shift this and move it forwards. Now, zeros are all about like the card of the fall it's new beginnings ones are the aces these are also about new beginnings so everything here in your numbers is also about waking up to something seeing something for what it is uh, moving on from something uh, beginning something exploring new territory embracing the magical moment i do feel that this is a serious upgrade for you of your energy, of your spiritual awakening, and the result of this serious upgrade, 
beautiful pile too, is that you can manifest because your energy is magical. It's like you can, you could light any fire, you know, your, your, your energy is primed. I mean, we have a coin here, you're primed to manifest. So I'd like more information actually for you. What is this about? Because I sort of feel the upgrade is coming because something else hasn't been quite right. Something's left you feeling up in the air. Maybe we ask for information about that, please. What was up in the air? What caused the problem? Judgment, inner calling. Queen of Wands, confidence. And King of Swords, endurance. Okay. I actually feel that you've had to sort of face something quite recently. Maybe it's just literally like facing yourselves, really having a, a serious evaluation with yourself to think about what your priorities are, what's been working in your life, what hasn't been working in your life. But I feel it's bigger than that. It's not just in an everyday sort of way, what works, what doesn't. It's more like a looking back and thinking, do you know, what have I actually manifested to date? Am I living the life that I desire? And what I'm seeing here with you as well, which is, I think, phenomenal, and I wish to really massively, I'm really hearing ma really big messages from your spirit team saying really big uh, kind of like praise, respect to you. What you've been doing is looking back and thinking, well, I haven't got everything that I want. I haven't manifested everything that I want. What have I been doing that I could do differently? It's like you're choosing to take this massive position of self-responsibility to review, to assess. And the very nature of you voicing this to yourself, to your spirit team, to your guides, to your angels is shift, has, has been, is being honored. And, and the full moon is shifting the energy here for you. It's like, you're, you're able to release with Archangel Raphael energy here. You're able to release things that were previously in the way because your vibration is rising. And I, I can see you now moving into a space of very clear manifestation because you now are much clearer on what you want. Let's draw from another pack. I'd like to ask about you know, the major glow up is almost as if you you are now in, it's like you are now in balance or aligned with universal energy at a higher vibration, which creates possibility. It creates a magical space for manifesting miracles. So can I ask about these miracles? Look, what did I say about the full energy? Zero, the full. New beginnings. New beginnings are literally around you. I almost want to say, what do you want? Put it out there. Ask. This is what I want. I'm really clear about it. This is what I desire. This is what makes me feel passionate. Confidently ask. This is what I'm hearing. Ask with confidence. And be prepared also. I'm kind of hearing for some of you as well, because there has been some things that have disappointed you. Some stuff or, or particular area of your world that hasn't worked out as you would have liked. There's something that you haven't yet manifested. And as you have been reviewing this and taking full responsibility for this, my hat goes off to you. It's like getting really, really clear now, but with confidence, asking with confidence, this is what I know I want. This is what I desire. Letting go of what you don't want and really embracing what you do and being really crystal clear about it. And yeah, what I was going to say was as well, I, this is about not compromising on your dreams. So not settling for less. That was what was trying to come through. It's sort of really interesting. I was really having trouble receiving that message. It was trying to come through to me. Do not settle for less. Not settling for less. This is about going for what you really want. Don't settle for less. You're in a space of miracles. Two of pentacles. Absolutely, you are. The energy is primed to get started and to happen. I mean, look at that. 
Look at that. So really powerful, really powerful space of, of beginning here for you. We then have the lovers. This is really interesting. When the two of pentacles showed up, I thought, I wonder if for some of you this is connected to a relationship to love. Have you been disappointed and you're being told, don't settle for less, don't compromise, don't go for anything less than than the, the qualities of a person that are really important to you. I know we do have to compromise in every relationship, but compromise, there are certain things that shouldn't be compromised. And I think you're now clear about what they are because you've done the inner work. So yeah, there is, for some of you, this is connected to relationship and not settling for less. And I'm seeing it coming through for you, manifesting quickly, absolutely quickly, fast. Three of Wands, happening fast. Wow. Okay. Let's just summarize your reading and bring in some runes just to, to wrap us up here. This upgrade, this major glow up, and it is a major glow up, is all to do with your energy because, and, and your inner energy. It's, it's to do with the work you have been doing. And, and now recognizing as this full moon arrives, the energy of the full moon, this shift in energy is a time when you are now, or the energy of you is now aligned with the energy of the universe. And you can now magnetize the miracles you desire. This is about getting really focused, taking an ownership of exactly what you want and not settling for less and letting it then arrive. What else are we showing? Rooms for you. Okay, how interesting. Do you know, I knew the gateway room was coming through. You have gateway, um, this is Thurizas, you have protection, algas, and you have the blank room. Yeah, you are being protected, okay, as you transform, as you manifest. There need be no fear on your part. Um, what you are manifesting can now actually happen. You know, we are looking at the blank room, which is this infinite space of possibility. Now, Algis, the rune of protection, does speak of unexpected, the unexpected arrival of things, uh, opportunities disguised as loss, and uh, also of managing your emotions as well, not letting your emotions get the better of you. So keeping balanced as well, keeping in a balanced place, like a place of expectation where you fully know that what you desire is coming in. The rune of gateway is always a pause. It's a turning point where you review, because this is what you've been doing. You've been reviewing the past, recognizing what doesn't work. What have you done to contribute to something that hasn't manifested and how can you do it differently? I have so much respect for you guys because you are stepping into a space of profound possibility. This is a really powerful rune. I, I genuinely think you can you can now get really clear man and manifest the stuff that you really, really want. It will be a top priority manifestation as well for most of you. Many, it could well be a relationship with the card of the lovers. Wow. The glow up is like holding your energy for you. That's what I feel. It's like holding your vibration really high for you to enable you to, to do exactly this. I mean, look how resolute he is. It's like he knows, he's confident. Again, confidence, he is confident that the timing is right. He can stand tall, stand strong. He knows with confidence that what he wants is coming. Beautiful reading, pile two. Really stunningly beautiful reading. Uh, beautiful souls, keep us posted. I'm, I'm very curious as to how this may emerge or manifest. I guess we could draw a few more cards, couldn't we? Should we do that? Just have a quick look. Um, let's draw a few more cards to see how this manifests or how quickly. Can I ask how quickly this manifests? Um, 
or the, I say this because your dreams, your desires will be unique to you. We have the card of death and the king of cups. So I'm going to say we're going to, this is going to transform fast. Now, some of you may be in a kind of a bit of a dark night of the soul place where you feel that you've, which is mentioned here, you know, a new phase in a religious or spiritual quest, you're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like a dark night of the soul. I just feel you have been really soul searching. But this is the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's golden, looks like a golden peacock with the tail as well. Yeah, you're going to, this is going to transform quickly. This is what I'm seeing here. And King of Cups to the point where you are seriously getting what you desire and you're getting it fast. Because you're aligned. Even look on this, look at this card here. We have on his um, beautiful, uh, his beautiful shield, we have two whales. It's kind of like you are, you are in alignment with the Earth's energy, with the song lines, with the energy of what can happen. I've just noticed the card on the rear of the pack too, Knight of Wands. This is really fast. This is one of the fastest cards in the pack. As your energy is aligning, I, I simply think that the, the full moon uh, is like a, a point of completion, a turning point for you. You've been doing the work. It's like you've been using the energy of gateway here, of Thurizaz. You've been sitting, you've been reviewing, you've been reflecting, you've been looking within, and, and now you can step through the gateway. The full moon glow up is the stepping through that gateway. And I think everything is going to happen fast, okay? I really, really do. You're stepping into this space of possibility. It's just a question of you holding your energy, your focus really, really clear on what it is you really want because it will come to you. And there is this sort of prophetic nature of the timing here, almost as if you've done the karmic work, which of course ties in with the astrology. The sun in this full moon is sitting with Saturn, Saturn, Father Time, Father Karma, bringing karmic lessons, helping us to restructure life. So I am seeing real stuff happening in real physical terms for you, manifesting and manifesting fast because of your energy, pile two. I will now conclude your reading. I ended up doing a few more cards, but it just felt so right, so, so right. Pile two, thank you for being here. Thank you all who like, share, subscribe. It's magical. Um, and, and everything that you do, the commenting as well, the sharing of your stories, all of this is so, so magical. So do keep us posted. Thank you for all the things you do that support the channel, including those of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments as well. Blessings to you all. Uh, this is an amazing turning point for you. And hard, hard, uh, what's the hard one? Hard earned, hard won. That's the flavor of this. You've worked hard to be here. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's the universe's time to, well, I can't say it's to work with you because it's just that your energy is so right. You're now aligned. You can, it's like, oh, it's a biggie to, to be able to manifest in this way. But I think you're moving to a point where you can, which is phenomenal. Tons of love, tons of respect to you too, beautiful souls. Um, I look forward to seeing you again for another reading really soon. Tons of love, beautiful souls. Hey, pile three, welcome to your reading. So what major glow up is this full moon bringing you? Wow, there is uh, an energy of getting you back on track here, finding your North Star. Oh, I'm seeing visions coming through here as well, like seeing you entering into the dream time in some way. This is a master crystal, amethyst as well. How interesting. Let's put this back and draw more cards for you. Whatever is happening, it's coming with almost like the power and energy of the ocean, I feel, is coming in behind you. The counsellor, transformation, hearing something. The whales, um, they sing. They have a, it's something about the song lines, singing, singing to your own tune, coming through here. Let's just draw more cards and find out what we are shown. What is this major glow up for pile three? Authority, right. You're stepping into your own authority. You're finding your own power. This is like the power of the oceans. Something around you can't really be, it's not that you're not, you're not movable. 
but it is about stepping into your own power. Some form of empowerment is coming to you, mid-heaven, pinnacle. You're stepping up into your own. I'm seeing success here. Review Mercury retrograde energy here. I say Mercury, but retrograde energy is around you. Okay. What are you seeing? What are you being shown here? That enables you to step into your own power. What will the full moon show you? Have no fear. Okay, increase your knowledge. Someone new is coming. Okay. We have ascended masters create open communication, right? That level of communication has been coming through right from the start of your reading of you being able to receive guidance, being open to receive guidance and receiving it. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Education brings opportunities. Fear is a trap of the ego. Mm, have no fear. I feel like this is about you having the courage to be your authentic self in a situation. Hmm. There's some looking back going on here. I'm actually hearing don't look behind you. Don't look back. That's what's coming through with this card. Don't look back. Look ahead. Yeah, if there's been a disappointment, something didn't work a someone didn't work. Don't look back. Don't hold on to any form of fear. This is because you're rising. Look at the energy of this card. Ascended Masters. Wow. Okay. I feel you've got these two cards coming through your number cards. You have 1551. Hold your vision. Manifestation, abundance, money, dreams, vision and prosperity. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire. It's time to put your faith and time into your ideas and pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous and brave spirit. Then we have 1122. Great shift personal growth, spiritual development and manifesting goals, oneness, connection and completion. First, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts, then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favour of your intentions. Yeah, I am hearing, don't look back. Okay, there's something you've had to move away from or you've had to navigate and it's now time to move away and beyond that this big glow up is actually a major shift in really in many ways in so many areas of your life i think you've had to dive deep or you were taken to the depths of a situation it felt very emotional actually what is really interesting though, the ascended masters coming through and this master crystal. I sort of feel that, for starters I need to say to you, look, you, you are undoubtedly an old soul, I'm sure you know this. You are an old soul, you've navigated many lives, many lives. And I think you've come here at this pivotal time of accelerated growth, very specifically with a task in hand. And part of your task, if I'm honest, has been to actually endure some fairly difficult situations. And you've come in to attend to those situations to help to cleanse the consciousness of humanity and to stop history from repeating itself with this retrograde energy. You've kind of reached a point where you've done so much work. You've climbed many mountains to be where you are. You therefore have a right to own your own authority. 
to no longer sit in in fear of anything really because you've worked to be where you are you've worked solidly you've increased your knowledge you actually have a lot of knowledge and you have a lot of wisdom you're an old soul and you've reached a point in this lifetime where you have an ability to sort of share your wisdom. The Ascended Masters are working with you here. You can share your wisdom. Many of you may even have become counsellors. If you're new to my channel, that was my mainstream career. I was a counsellor. I think we're drawn into counselling in the first instance, probably because we need some counselling ourselves, or either that or we've had counselling and we knew how valuable it was. So we then want to offer more to others. And there's something here about you. I think you, ha you are a gifted healer in some way, shape or form. And I think the Ascended Masters speak through you. You are a very gifted healer and you have climbed many hurdles and many through many lifetimes, this one as well, to get to where you are. Many peaks and troughs. Look at all the turrets here in this pinnacle. But you've reached a point in this lifetime when you've, you've done the learning and you can now share your wisdom. You can also share it and live a peaceful, balanced life. Someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. This could be a publisher for you if you write books. This could be a soulmate connection in a, an intimate way if you're single and looking for love. If it's a, a working alliance or a friendship, it, it's the person who's going to really assist you in your, in your work, in your calling. Have your back. So whether they are your intimate partner at home and they have your back or whether they are part of your world, there's... But you are, you're rising, you're coming into your own. And this full moon is this point of, of a major glow up, something coming in that lifts you, that highlights to you that you're, it, it's a great shift. This is exactly what we've got. Great shift, personal growth, manifesting goals. Something is coming to you that shows you that almost like your hard work has paid off. Now let's ask for more information about how is this big glow up arriving? Can we be given more information? So we've got new venture, Ace of Pentacles. We have Ace of Swords, wow. And we have the King of Pentacles, wow. Okay, this is very wow, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, so two aces. This is where an idea is shown to you that really is the key to some element of abundance of wealth. King of Pentacles, don't, don't be fearful of embracing this opportunity. Focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts that expand your horizons. Permit yourself to try something new. The world around you is, is changing in favour of your intentions. Whatever you, you desire or wish to move forwards, I think the full moon marks a point where it does and the right person comes in to totally assist you in following this through and I'm seeing massive success here security massive success realization I mean even just the key words say it all don't they new venture the realization of this and you enter a space of security abundance wealth prosperity this is a major turning point for you I love that the Ascended Masters are working with you. Look how the colours are just so magical with the colours here around these two beautiful doves of peace. It's like as well, I think you find peace for the first time, perhaps in a long time and indeed in many lifetimes, death. Absolutely. In that place of rebirth. This is absolutely a rebirth for you. Look at the butterfly, pure white butterfly in the darkness. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is a time when from this is almost the culmination of the work of many lifetimes. Now, I have done some past life readings. If you check out the channel, 
um, if you go to the homepage of the Moon Magic channel or, and you find the playlist of timeless readings, um, there are lots of readings in there, but I, th I think you can sometimes search the readings and if you can and you look for past lives, you'll find those. I, I actually should reorganize the channel a little bit and do more specific playlists to make it easier for you to find the right readings. But there are past life readings and I think it will be relevant to you. Because I think this is the culmination, which is why it's such a major glow up. It's the culmination, you have another king, king of cups. It is, it's the major culmination of many lifetimes of work. And how amazing is this? Look at this when I said to you about finding your, like walking the song lines or being in alignment with the vibration of a, a higher vision or we've got two whales here and on the king of cups here. Can you see on his shield, he has two whales. So two whales are showing up twice. This is really, a, this is an absolute massive culmination. And wow, it's coming together. It's gonna come together, that's what we're seeing here. We have the hermit. Just so much higher vision, higher guidance. You've acquired wisdom. You are wise. You are an old soul. You are wise. You are a seer. Yeah, you are a seer. Visions are gifted to you. Seven of wands. Wow. Look at you standing in your own power. This is almost like with ten of swords, it's almost like a resurrection. And same, interesting, the Ten of Swords sits beneath the Death card. Um, and I think this is fascinating. Now you also have the King of Swords. How many kings can you get in terms of your empowerment, of you being at the top of your game? King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups. With the Ten of Swords sitting beneath the Death card, both of these are about transformation. And this really does feel like a, a rebirth, a resurrection. But I do, I think it's coming from many lives. I really, really do. Strength sitting under the hermit. And then we have the queen of pentacles here, sitting under the seven of wands where you're coming into your own power. It's like you can handle power. I'm seeing leadership here as well. You can handle power, you can handle leadership. Because you've you have that energy around you. You have that resonance around you. This is huge, really. We talk about stepping into your own power. It's way bigger than just that. It's, it's, it is literally rising and being at the top of your game. Some of you may well become a leader in your field. And the Ascended Masters are working with you because what you do and what you contribute will make a very big difference to potentially many people. Whatever this is for you, whatever coming into your own is, it's, it, the timing here is now right. The timing is right. Let's draw some runes. Wow, look at this. You have the spiritual warrior. So this is um, this is Tewaz. The spiritual warrior is about discernment and walking that path of the spiritual warrior with great clarity. You then have Kano, the rune of openings. So real clear direction. And you have the rune of breakthrough. It's the breakthrough moment. It's the point of completions and new beginnings. It's that culmination where your knowledge can be is, your knowledge is real, but what is lovely, someone new is coming in to assist you. I'm just going to draw a few more cards to follow this through, actually just make a little inquiry around it. I can see the Ascended Masters are working with you. I mean, there's no question of it. What is this, someone new? Can we have a little bit more guidance and information? I'm seeing these cards for you. Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. So absolutely, this is someone new coming in to assist you. They are going to be a very big driving force behind you, I think, Eight of Swords. They're going to help to keep you very leveled out. They're going to help to keep you in a space where you, you can consistently move forwards. Oh, wow. Look at this pyramid here under the full moon. Wow. 
I am really seeing a gateway opening for you here. And look at the moons on these uh, pillars here. Back to Ascended Masters. I think you are going to be channeling potentially um, information or you have been. You've been embracing whether you've been aware of it. You, you have been on a journey whereby you can bring something forth that will illuminate the world for others. Some of you I genuinely think are going to be a kind of a leader, possibly even like a spiritual leader. Others of you are going to be a leader in your own field. You could be a leader within your community. You could be a leader within your family, but you are stepping up and this is the big glow up for you because you're doing it with wisdom born of experience not just through this life but through others and something is coming well in fact i think the trigger is that someone is coming that assists you to step into your fullest potential that's what we're being shown here with this card as well someone is coming to help you to step into yeah your fullest potential to be to manifest and bring forth everything that you can be everything you have learned from these life from lifetime after lifetime after life, lifetime and it may be a karmically it may be someone you've already known in a past life who's come back at a point of divine timing to assist you let's just ask about that is could be someone you know already who supports you and steps forwards or it could be someone brand new four of cups okay yeah, so I'm seeing somebody who's very, this is a spiritual person. This person is, is a spiritual connection for you. So whether you know them already or they're brand new, this person is deeply spiritual. They're very centered, very, very centered. They're very stable, very still. Let me ask more about this person. Could be a mentor through the, through the church, perhaps, or through a spiritual group of people. The high priestess again, and the hanged one, which of course is the hanged man. Yeah, I, I actually think this person coming in to support you, however this relationship arrives in your world, they're deeply spiritual. It's divinely time to assist you in manifesting the, the best version of you because you have a great deal that you can see and share with people in terms of wisdom and guidance. I mean, this is like someone coming to assist you in your spiritual calling. Wow. Hold your vision. Wow. And even if some of you have, you know, really... Well, you've had to work. You've had to do the work to get here. There's no question of it. But this does feel very powerful. I'm loving that someone is arriving to support you. Pile three, this is the big uh, glow up that the full moon is bringing you. It comes in the form of a someone. Absolutely in the form of a someone to assist you in your calling, your leadership, your fullest, bestest version of you. Wow. I'm blown away, blown away by your reading. Pile three, thank you so, so much for being here. This is your reading. Uh, I'm sending you so much love. Do keep us posted if you feel able to. Um, keep us updated in the comments. I love reading your comments. So thank you, all of you. And um, yeah, thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. All of these things really do help the channel. And uh, thank you all of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments and thank you all for commenting. It is fabulous to read your stories. You guys are just inspirational and amazing. So thank you so, so much for being here. Tons of love, beautiful souls. And I look forward to seeing you for another reading really soon.